There are over a billion websites on the World Wide Web, and perhaps 1% of those contain malicious content. While it seems like a minuscule amount, any of your staff can accidentally end up on one of those 18.5 million infected sites, potentially exposing your business to malware, ransomware, and other cyber threats. Fortunately, there is a way to minimize this risk, and that is through a technology known as DNS filtering. Hi, I'm Rick from the Managed Technologies Channel. We have managed the technology of small and large companies alike for over 20 years. In this video, we will talk about DNS filtering, which is one of the many ways to guarantee worry-free web browsing. We'll go over how it works, the benefits to your business, and how you can implement it. What is the DNS filtering? DNS filtering is a cybersecurity measure that prevents users and computers from accessing malicious websites and domains on the internet in an effort to prevent cyber attacks such as malware or ransomware. Simply put, it makes known dangerous sites inaccessible to members. Why does your business need DNS filtering? Any business with members using and browsing the internet should have DNS filtering. Today, that's every business and operation, regardless of size and industry. In terms of cybersecurity, we've already mentioned how it protects your network by restricting users from accessing or downloading malicious content. In addition, it also supports your data protection and data loss prevention initiatives and satisfies compliance regulations such as NIST, HIPAA, and PCI DSS. As for productivity, you can use DNS filtering to limit user access to recreational websites, such as social media or video streaming platforms. If full restriction is a bit too much, you can apply a time-based DNS filtering solution to schedule filter rules at specific time intervals. How can you implement DNS filtering? There are three approaches to DNS filtering, manual, automated, and leveraging a managed security service provider or a MSSP. For the manual approach, you'll need an in-house IT professional with high cybersecurity knowledge and expertise. They should be able to leverage threat feeds and intelligence by staying ahead of malicious websites and be able to catch them. Such skills will allow them to manage and configure your DNS blocking solutions adequately. As for the automated approach, it's more about purchasing and using software designed to optimize the DNS filtering process. Someone still must manage the application, but having this extra resource makes it less likely for things to fall through the cracks. Finally, you can leverage an MSSP, a team of experts with the latest information on cybersecurity technology, solutions, and trends. Their expertise and resources allow them to easily coordinate all DNS filtering initiatives from implementation integration, maintenance, and management. They can even go beyond that and offer regular cybersecurity training to help educate your members on proper web browsing practices. With these three options, you won't have problems implementing DNS filtering solutions. You need only to choose the right approach for your business, considering your existing resources and needs. If you want to learn more about DNS and keeping your business secure, read our article by clicking on the link below. As always, I'm Rick from the Managed Technology Channel, if this video helped you out today, please like it and subscribe to our channel so we can grow and help other business tech users like yourself. If there's something on this channel that you'd like to see, comment down below. See you next time.